This is a quartz metronome. It's set for 60 beats per minute. So it is one second intervals between this beat. Do you hear it? Did you hear it? Okay. We're going to show the action of the knees and hips. This deals with the timing of our support of a swing. Okay, now watch it. Two, three. It takes a second to take this club head to the top of the back swing. It takes a second to take it back to the ball to, and through to the finish. But the action is your timing is the knees and hips because that supports the other. Okay? Yeah. Now, familiarize with this tempo, okay? Right. Can you hear this? Yeah. Let the palm cross on over the left thumb so the shaft gets inside the arm on this. Okay. Follow through. One, two, three. So you're standing in balance on an upright left leg. The smaller yeah. your back is arching into your navel. Right on a button. <clears throat> One, two, three. It's okay. See how see how you're looking at the ball on this angle instead of the horizontal. Uh -huh. You try to look at it on the horizontal and pick up your, your spine too quick. That's a perfect hit right there. You see, you're looking at it this way, not that way. Everybody wants to look at it on the horizontal because they stand up all day long and look at it on the horizontal. Because we're inclined toward that ball 30 degrees, you have to look at it on a, a slanted angle. Super. What iron is that? Six. Six iron. He's hitting it over probably 210 out there. Okay, I'm ready. All we're working with today is timing. This is a timing and tempo is kind of a step above mechanics, isn't it? Yes, it's it's the blending. See, like you have a beat to music. It could be a 2-2, two, two, could be a 4-4, four, four, it could be a 3-4. You know, most golfers swinging a 2-2, two, two, they say 1-2. Two. Take two seconds. I'm taking one second to do that knee, one second to put it back, one second to push it in. So that causes the shift to weight, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm timing that. The other part is working. That club is much faster than the arms. Take your two-fifths of a second from the top of the backswing to that ball. Take three-fifths of a second from the ball to the finish. You're doing 240-degree arc with a club, 150-degree arc with the left arm, and 150-degree arc past the ball with the right arm. If you clap your right arm before it gets to 1 o'clock here, you cut off your body. Mm -hmm. Okay? The left arm coming back to 11 o'clock from 6. It's 150 degrees. One, two, three. Now look, look at that arm. It bent a little bit, but you see, it's coming up to here like this, and you have control of a mean radius in here. You break this down in here, you don't have control. You're sucking it in, creating a centripetal action. Instead of working out with a centrip, you go. Okay? Mm -hmm.
Be sure you finish the right arm. Look, don't cut off either ball. Now, we're going into a three count. False count. One, two, three. That is a super golf swing. You see how high the hands are? They're not finishing with the club striking his shoulder. He's coming on up here. He's maintaining the mean radius between the wrist and the stunning slot. Okay? One, two, three. That's as straight as you can hit a ball, and that's a perfect golf swing right there. All the molecules of that club head hit the center of that <laughs> ball, so you're getting the maximum amount of results, least amount of effort. One, two, three. Now, that, that body, you think you could go, you think you go this fast with the body? You can't. You have to tempo your swing to what you can shift and tur turn the body. That's what we're doing now. Gives us a balance at impact. Gives us support at impact. One, two, three. That's, that's going, that's hitting about 215 with a six iron. Does that look all right? It's beautiful. One, two. Okay. Now we can change angles. Press over the right knee. Yeah, let, me hit, let me just take a couple warm up driver. Okay. You don't have to take them. That's a kill, man. See it. You didn't supernate your left forearm, Michael. Huh? Okay. The I rock, hit it pretty good. It just faded a little bit. Well, it faded because you're too tight between the, the elbow and the wrist with the forearm muscles, okay? Okay. All right. Tempo. Send it to a three, four beat. Each beat is a second. No, Michael, don't pick up the club after you set your address. You can't hit that ball any better than that. It's all right to work your hands this way, that way, but it's no got good to do that, understand? Mm -hmm. Just waggle the hands down there without raising the arms. You got exactly what I want you. You can't hit it more solid. Okay. That. Well, I know, but I'm consciously. I mean, I'm quicker because I'm thinking about not doing something instead of to doing something. Mike, hold the left arm position at address until you're able to set the right hand and adjust your shoulder before you start the backswing. But I say one thing, when you do this, look, when you pick it up and do it, you bend down and you pick it up. I ain't, I ain't talking about much of that. Picking up, you pick up your head and your hands, understand? 
hold your angle of that dress and now keep your chin still until that right shoulder comes against it. And that's right. Now you're not looking at the thing. Look here. You're looking at it this way instead of this way. Look. Yeah, that's as good as I can hit ball right yeah. there. You got to keep your chin on that center line until your right arm gets horizontal to the ground and then, then straighten out. I tell you one thing. That's this out of this world. That, that action. This well's time. You got control of your plane. You got control of the blade. And when you yeah. got that, you keep it in the fairway. Oh. Let your right arm come up a little higher. Huh? Let your right hand come, look, your arm come up and the hands roll over. <laughs> yeah. The club will get left of the arms instead of coming up and going this way with the shoulder, the right shoulder that way. It just comes under and up, under and up. That's good. Oh. That's about 350 on the fly. Too quick? Yeah. You, you see, your shoulders got to head a little bit. Miss Don't up. try to look at it on the horizontal, yeah? Yeah. Look. I know what you're talking about. Then the right shoulder come underneath the axle. If you don't, if you look at it this way, your shoulder goes that way. I don't want to hit it with the left ear. I want to keep it behind that ball until that club head hits it. You can't hit it any better than that. Now look, look at you. Look here. Your head is on this plane. It yeah, is like on that, that as yeah. opposed to like that. Yeah. You don't get it solid against the center of that club. Your tempo is very good. You got your. I still feel quick. Huh? I still feel quick. Well, if you try to push it, you'll feel quick. You don't push it. Let the shoulder follow that knee and hip. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What? Hit that solid. Is it, is it going up enough? Yeah. It's more solid you hit it. This way, it don't get get up there. When you hit it, kind of up, you get it on the high part of the club. You're catching it right on the center of the club, with the center of the ball against the center of the club. You get it near the top of the club, it goes high. That's good rep. Okay. Well, no, too 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 flat. Look here. Yeah, I'm just thinking a little too no, much. No, you see, that has to convex and this concave to come into the ball this way instead of this way and coming around this way. Yeah. I'm moving not, your I'm head. I'm moving over and under enough. Got to move over with left hip under with the right side. Right hip, you got to come underneath the bottom of the rib cage. Very close together. There's a hit. Oh, that one felt super. Uh huh. You got to feel like you're riding this. Look here. The bottom of the rib cage is riding at ilium crest. That's the best hit ball you hit today. That ball break, break in two, hit it that fast.
That's right on the William Tell line. Be sure you get the, the right arm measurement. Don't... That's right. Now you can do what you want to. Huh? That is super. Yeah, that was a good swing. I'm not, you get here like this, <laughs> then you pick up and do it. Instead of going down. Right. Hmm? Okay. I got a right arm measurement and a left arm measurement. You don't have the right arm measurement if you pick up the club before you put it on the on the ball. All right. Here's the left arm measurement. Yeah, now. Now, now you can do what you want to. I, Be sure you have that right arm set. Are you sure you don't? <laughs> you missed it a little bit, but you didn't miss it as bad. You know, hit a couple drivers off the ground. You can. Six hundred, six hundred and fifty and two that way. Yeah. Yes. You ready? And Michael? What? When you got strong winds, it, you can hit it off the ground like that and it don't balloon, understand? Uh-huh. Hit a tee. Like this is a driver off the fairway. Yeah, driver I'm off really, the... like, for me, I'm not aiming at that ball. I'm aiming right there. That's right. I'm aiming, like, right there with my club. Yeah. And then that way, when I hit it, instead of trying to pick the ball perfectly clean, that club, oh, for down around here, if I hit it, then that way that club will be flat on the ground when it hits yeah. that ball. Right. It. right. So I aim about an inch behind it. Well, no, okay. about a half an about inch. About a half inch. Okay. And this is an eight degree driver. Just as straight as they want to go. Keep the chin there until the shoulder. Okay, it's three right. iron. Yeah. Well, you see that shoulder went under here like that, and the shoulders and the chin are connected. You go through and the like left this, shoulder. Like that. Yeah, that, and you hold your chin there, and that bring your shoulder underneath. There. Sometimes now, I have a tendency to do that. Yeah. So you let the head go with the left shoulder instead of holding that to the right, right shoulder. shoulder when unfolds. You're... Okay. Boy, that's, you feel crimped in on that right side. The twelfth rib, the bottom rib, is riding the top of the rib cage. I mean, uh, the hip, the right hip, coming under and up that way. Like that. Instead of, look at, instead of coming around here that way with your head moving. Kind of lugging into it. Yeah, just trying to pull it in there instead of throw it. You think that isn't a beautiful golf swing? You you did everything I wanted you to do. Everything. You had your tempo. You had the angle of address perfect. You had the right side concaving, the left side convexing. Your right hip, knee, and thigh pulling your right shoulder into the shot. Your hands activating the club. Okay. Boy, you feel under now, don't you? You come in with a low right shoulder with the arms working up this way, the way the shoulders are going. Your arms don't go this, this angle, way. as opposed to that yeah. angle. Yeah, the, the arms come up because your, your right shoulder and left shoulder are coming from, the left shoulder's coming from the perigee up to the apogee without rolling, understand? That way, okay. okay. 
get all the way over with that right knee. That's killing the ball. I mean, beautiful action. Huh? Yeah, felt good. Pull that one a little bit. Thank you. Well, yeah. Okay, you, you no, you didn't do that. Sometimes, you know, you can do that and duck it. But if you do this and come here like that, then roll it back. Roll it out, dorsal flex, and roll it back. You're going to hit it better. That's a beautiful golf swing. Now, your, your ball is, is about this much to the right of your left hill, right? Right, with a three iron. Yes. So that gives me the proper lead. I'm yeah. not adding loft to it no. back here. That's the way that thing's designed to sit yes, right there. Yeah, right, right there. That's like a ballet dancer. I wouldn't go that far. Well, I tell you, it's beautiful. There's no game that looks any more beautiful than a golf swing. When it's done properly? Uh, yes. Uh, hmm? About 10 so yards. you're finishing up with the back arching into the rectus abdominis wall and the right side coming underneath the spine, the hip and the shoulder, the hip pull in the shoulder. Good. Man, I tell you, that's in about 240 on the fly with a three iron. Yeah, those are, those are good, strong shots. And you see, it doesn't look strong because it's so well coordinated. It's that one, that three count. We got a one, two, three. Right? That's, see, you're not trying to speed up this, you're trying to speed up that way. It's quick club head, understand? Slow and body. All we're doing with the body is putting it in a position to hold up the torso. i tell you one thing, that's, that's Beethoven, Mozart right there. Tempo's okay. Plane's okay, blade control is okay. Uh -huh. it, you don't know how beautiful that looks. Because your center, your swing circle center, is then stabilized. If you had a compass and you put it to the ground and you then like this, you'd make a, a circle where the outer end will meet the out in. But if you move this, you don't have a circle. You have some kind of figure that's not circled. Understand? Uh -huh. So you have an attached in and a detached. The detached makes a circle, the width between the separation of the two points. Ah, yeah. See, that brings it on. If you pick up this thing right here and then put your hand on and then go down, you haven't got what I wanted. You understand? Yeah. If you give me the measurement of the two-arm measurement, you understand? Mm-hmm. That's right. Now you can pick it up. I don't care. You've got your angle of the distance. I mean, you can't shoot a gun any straighter than that. No, those feel good. Yeah. Do you mean anything else? Seven iron. With a half arc. Wait, wait. Okay. All right, buddy. We are hitting a seven nine with a half arc. Okay, same tempo. Yes, your tempo, it'll take care of itself. You think of that, okay? All right. Now you can, that's what you call shading. You're not making a, a full swing, but your tempo is in balance 
with this amount of club you're using, understand? Mm -hmm. And the, the amount of acceleration you're using. So you got wind following you, and you're going to hit this shot instead of hitting a full shot, you hit a half shot. All right? Mm -hmm. I now, still use take it up to three quarters. Huh? Now, when you well, look at three quarters, the slant of that shaft is like that. Now, go my back like right that. there. That's three quarters. Okay? okay? And you give it three quarter tempo coming down, you know, three quarter speed. See that? That now get about 50 yards further, you know? So that's a three-quarter swing. Now, a full swing, the golf club will be horizontal to the ground, parallel to intended line of flight. See, that'll give you another 50 yards. You hit the ball solid. Yeah. Your leading edge of that club is coming in between the perimeter of that ball and the ground. It fits right in that little slot there. Put it in there. Let's I'm going to make a hard swing. All right, this yeah. is a sluggo. No, 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 no. Don't pick it up until you got the hand. Now pick it up. I don't care what you do. You got it all set. Now that's a, that's a ball that's slugged, and he still maintained his tempo and his balance. Right? Yeah. Now, do you understand what I was trying to get you to do? Not pick it up before. Yeah, I've had a little tendency to do that. Yeah. Now so it didn't set the right shoulder there. Yeah. Okay. Michael, give me a hook shot. Full swing, okay? All right. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Position of balance. Just Position of shoulder there. on the oblique plane, not on horizontal. Balance right. on the left foot, back arch. Balanced against the rectus abdominis wall right here. Okay. Okay. Holding that hit. Now cut. Yeah. Well executed, Michael. So you have control of the plane and the blade. Mm -hmm. What degree you want to cut is how much the blade is open or closed. Do you understand? <coughs> okay. <coughs> now I'd like to hit, hit me a... Low shot? Punch shot. Punch shot. And play it back. Swell off the blade. Swell off the blade right there. Get your hand strong right there. And come on in. Don't let the club hit cut get above your wrist. Keep the club head on there. They, that's right. That's knocking it under the tree. So you can go under. You can. We hit some over the trees today, right? Mm -hmm. The parachute shots. Right. Now you're hitting <clears throat> it underneath the tree. Now you're hitting it around the tree on the right side. Now you hit it around on the left side. Now you're punching it underneath again. That feels solid when you hit it. That yeah. ball will roll a long way. It's hard to knock it off the line, too. Yeah, it, it goes straight because we're not doing anything to the blade. We set the blade like we want it to be when you hit the ball, right? Mm-hmm. That's good. You haven't changed your, your tempo of body motion and hip, have you? Mm -mm. Done the same thing, right? You're just, you're just conscious of the different, you know, ball yeah. position. I think that we're getting toward the end of what we want to explain, which is tempo, right? Right. And your tempo... You and want the, to get the... That and the metronome out? Yes, I think we had it out. This metronome is set for 60 beats per minute. Each time you hear a click is one second. So we're going to do, regardless of what shot we hit, a three-second count, except the chip shot and the putt. So listen to this. Now, like now you go in... One, two, three, one, two, three, right? Yes. Using a three count, I use something that very, not all pros use, but a, a pretty good percentage of them use as a, like a running start to give your feet something to do to keep, so they can keep in balance with the other part of your... Like a forward uh, press. Yeah. So we're this doing a forward your... press with the right knee, then we retract it back the way it started, 
Then we come in again with the forward press. That mm. takes the bottom and puts it over into support for the torso. It gives you a, a trigger to start under pressure with. Too, yes, it? it does. It takes the tension off the swing. Yeah. So f for like this little count, one and the two and the three. No, it isn't that one, one and the two and the three. Two, three. three. One, two, three. Really, that little beep is, is like after you've developed your pattern, you can just put everything together to that timing, right? Yeah, yeah it'll come automatic boom. eventually. Boom. boom. Right? Boom. That'll get you out of a mechanical mode. Right, it will. That's just a tempo, like a flowing rhythmic. A lot of boom. people stand up there and get glued <laughs> to the ground. The body, head, shoulders move, but the feet and knees and hips don't. You understand? Yeah, well, this the swing we've been working on so hard, you just create so much more with less. Yes. You hmm. put 12 joints into action where you sometimes don't put but about eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get that beat going here. Very good. <laughs> 